Hello from SlideNerd and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In this video, we are going to talk about what are objects in Java. Now if you have read long lengthy explanations and pages inside your big fat books, you probably never understood what objects are and that's why you're here. So don't worry. In this video, everything will be clear. The idea behind objects is that you have something in the real world that you want to re represent inside your Java program. All right. So let's talk about you in the real world. Let's say let's say this is you and you want to show this inside a Java program. So how will you do that? That's the biggest question you have, right? So there are two things that you have to consider. What do you have? That is, what properties do you have? And what do you do? What actions you're capable of performing? So let's talk about these things in detail. So let's say you have brown hair as per this image. In Java program, you can write that as hair color equals to brown, right? Same way you have black eyes. That can be said something like eye color equals to black, white skin, skin color equals to white, orange shirt. You can probably say something like shirt color equals to orange or shirt equals to orange. You're six feet tall in the real world. So in the Java program, you can write something like height equals to six or six feet, right? Same way, let's say you're 75 kgs in weight. You can say something like weight equals to 75 or 75 kgs. Now these are some of the attributes that define you define your appearance, define your style. You can say they define your properties. All right. Now, other set of things that we think about is what do you do? You, you get up every day, you go here, go, go to college, you learn stuff, you play games, all these things, these verbs, actions, they come under the category, what do you do? So here again, I'm going to take some examples and show you what you actually do. So let's say you eat. Well, you eat with the help of this function in Java, which is called eat. So when you have a real world activity like sleep, you represent that in Java with the help of this method called sleep. Same way you walk with the help of this method walk, you run, run, party, party and so on, right? Now remember, there are many properties and there are many actions. I have just shown a few of them. So what is the difference between uh, these properties and these actions? Very simple. If you notice something, all these things over here, they are nouns in English and all these things over here, they are verbs in English. So the idea is when someone tells you, hey, make an object out of this in the Java program and show me, think about this. Take all the nouns, make them as properties. Take all the verbs, make them as actions. Very simple. Don't worry if you're uncertain or unclear about what I just said right now. I'll show you more examples and then you'll be very comfortable about this. So at this point, you have this question saying, hey, dude, this is all fine. It's about me. That's great. But what is an object? Very simple. An object is a combination of your properties and your actions when we talk about you. So what do, I, what do I mean by that? So if I say the object is you in Java program, then that means it has a hair color brown, eye color black, skin color white, shirt orange, height 6, weight 75, and eat, sleep, walk, run, party are some of the actions that you perform. So the properties and the actions combined together for any real world object make an object in Java. All right. All right, so what is an object? It's any real world thing that you want to represent or show in your program with two things in mind. Something it has, that is the properties. Something it does, that is the actions. Now you can take anything lying around and you can think about the properties and actions. It can be that mobile phone lying on your table. It can be your pen that lies on your table and you can decide this and make objects just like that. No science needed, nothing, all right. So let me show you another example. Here, I have a phone. Now let's see, this is a real world phone which I have, which is probably some Samsung phone out here. I want to represent this phone in Java in the form of an object. So how will I do that? Very simple. Ask two questions. What it has, what it does. So again, if you see, your phone has some width that you can clearly see out here. Some height, you can say something like width equals to 6.98 centimeters. Some height, which can be something like 13.6 centimeters. Some color which is gray in this in this case, which I can say as color equals to gray. OS, Android, price, something like thousand or thousand dollars. Brand, Samsung, weight, some 130 grams. So all these attributes, they are nouns. Notice them very clearly. And they are properties about your phone that cannot be changed, right? And when I say cannot be changed, I mean, well, they define your pro product or real world object that you're talking about. So these are the properties you have. And what does your phone do? Ask yourself the second question. Very simple. Your phone enables you to make a call, enables you to run games, 
send SMS, enable sharing, browse internet, run apps and again as I said there are so many properties that you can think about and there are so many actions that you can perform. Here I have listed just a few of them. So when someone says hey dude what is your phone object comprised of? Very simple a phone object is comprised of the properties that the phone has and the actions that the phone does. So take any object lying around you in the real world and think about what properties it has and what actions it does. Remember the nouns form the properties and the verbs form the actions. So in the next video I'll be talking about what are classes in Java. So hopefully if you guys have understood something out of this video please subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day.